Hi everybody, Brian here from plantlabs.net. Just wanted to let you know I'm going to show you how to add expert advisors into your Mac or environment. If you're running the MetaTrader 4 from XM, uh, there's this video to show you how to install it. How to completely download MetaTrader MT4 on Mac with XM Forex Broker. So I'm going to assume that you've got everything all loaded up. A couple things you want to look for, there's, uh, because this project uh, that you're using is built around Wine, which is an emulator for Windows. That's how they did it. In here, you're going to look for something called a Wine Explorer. So you'll get access to the entire uh, file system of your... Um, of your of your uh, computer and typically wherever you have downloaded your your um, your uh, MetaTrader expert advisor to you can also do it through your terminal in my case that's what I've done here is uh, if I go into my documents folder okay so I've got here a meta trader XL sorry and so you can see I've got this subfolder called MQL underscore EA okay so I've got the uh, my 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 expert advisor already we're testing but nonetheless whatever the name is, it, but it will end in .ex4 and then from there you should be able to um, be able to copy it so typically what you could do here is just go look for that folder so in here under documents you'll see here that folder you can see right so in here uh, on your Mac you have to enable the right click so here I'm going to copy uh, the folder, or sort of the file. Okay, and then you can go into my computer. Okay, and then look for uh, my computer here, and see. And then you got program files. So under here, this is where the application name XMMT4 will reside on your Mac. So you click that puppy. And then you go under MQL4, and then expert under experts the folder. You can then click right click again and do paste. So from there, what you can do, you should be able to load up the uh, expert advisor, which I'm doing kind of right now. I've, I'm just push, putting this quick video to get to show you this. Uh, so just come under, uh, I believe it's file. Uh, if I'm not mistaken here, yeah, here. So I think it's a, a open data folder here, and then what you want to do is you you want to verify that you've got the expert advisor in here. So from there, you should be able to see here um, that your uh, expert advisor is now able to run. So let me just take uh, uninstall this. So this is the usual instructions that you would want or follow the instructions to load up the expert advisor. I'll probably have something more important uh, with this expert advisor, but I just thought I'd put this quickly together for you and even for myself for later reference. But that's how you're able to get the expert advisor running. And here you can see it kind of run but I'm just testing it as we speak. Hopefully this will help you out to install the expert advisor on Mac if you plan to use XM for Mac. Talk to you later.